So I need help to confirm uh, some mathematics that I did about a scientific paper. In uh, 1990, Halpern released a scientific paper and found that there was probably little connection between ALS, motor neuron disease, and Lyme disease. In Suffolk County, New York, 5-6% to 6 of blood donors had antibodies to Lyme bacteria. They had been exposed to the bacteria at some point in their lives. So Halpern's experiment. He got a control group of 38 people um, and tested them for Lyme disease. Found that four had been previously exposed to Lyme disease bacteria. From this group he deduced that the background rate of Lyme in the area was actually 10.5%. He then tested 19 people with motor neuron disease from that area and 9 of them had been exposed to the bacteria. So they were seropositive, they had antibodies against the bacteria. Halpern's conclusions. It seems li unlikely to us that infection with um, Borrelia burgdorferi, which is the Lyme bacteria, is a frequent cause of motor neuron disease. Even in patients who are seropositive for exposure to this organism, we believe this may often be coincidental. This is uh, an important little piece, often be coincidental. These conclusions from this experiment in 1990 had a powerful effect. And to this day, testing for Lyme disease is frowned upon if a person has an M motor neuron disease d diagnosis, because Lyme disease is simply not seen as relevant. But what if the conclusions were completely wrong? Let's do the math. So my experiment, <coughs> I made a spreadsheet to test the probabilities of finding 9 of 19 randomly picked motor neuron disease patients positive for Lyme antibodies when the background rate is only 10.5%. Scientifically and statistically Significance begins at 5%, a 1 in 20 chance, and increases at 2%, which is 1 in 50 chance. So mathematic uh, mathematics can tell us if this experiment um, uh, was uh, significant. So please follow me through this spreadsheet and confirm my math. So now, probably most of you will not have experience with this kind of mathematics, but I'm confident that some of you will. If my maths is correct, a tick bite gives you a greatly increased chance of getting a motor neuron di disease diagnosis later in life. And Halpern's conclusions are totally and utterly wrong. I have to stress that this is really important and your good work can may save lives in the future. Okay, so here's my spreadsheet. So I just want people with knowledge of spreadsheets and mathematics to take a look at uh, what I have. So each time I go over a, uh, a cell up above, it'll um, there may, may be uh, uh, a formula in here. So this, uh, this is the background rate. And so all I've done for the background rate is to uh, subtract this number, which is the healthy people number, from, from 1. And you get this rate here. Uh, so so this means that you know if the background rates were higher or lower, you could also just change them in this. See, this is, um, oh yeah, OK, so this is uh, part of the, um, the way you do the calculation. So this number, these numbers are just for calculating. 19 is group size. Now E, uh, uh, oh, okay, so th this one here. So here we go, we finally got to the mathematics of uh, calculating probabilities. So this number equals uh, uh, A1, uh, to the power of E1 multiplied by B1 to the power of C1. So um, this is how I've arranged, this is um, how to calculate probabilities in, in a group uh, setting when you know the background rate. 
So then we go down here. So each one is just, uh, it's the same formula done across the, the relevant uh, um, cells. See that, uh, and then we go to H. So H is um, combination number three. Blah, blah, blah. The H is uh, this is uh, a function. Um, it's uh, the number of combinations you can make with nineteen uh, uh, I I from a group of nineteen that has 19 um, uh, in it. So D1, uh, D1, C1. So our, uh, oh yeah, sorry, with zero in it, uh, f um, that's uh, from 19 um, uh, group size. So then the number which one in it, um, or sorry, yeah, so um, chances of one is, um, uh, you know, one. And the same down the road. So this is just, the, the it's called the NCR, um, number of combinations on the calculator. And then this number here is just this number multiplied by this number. And same all the way down the line. And now we have, uh, so this gives the percentage chance of, um, um, of having one as your group, uh, as uh, individual chance. So this is, the chance of having uh, zero, no lime in the group. This is the chance of having one uh, person with lime. This is the chance of two and three. So already at three, you're um, almost um, at that. Uh, uh, or sorry, you're not. You're not at a threshold yet. I beg your pardon. For uh, so at five, you've passed the um, five percent threshold. At, at uh, seven, you've passed a two percent threshold. Yeah. Actually, I should I should go along here. So seven. Oh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, this is percentages. I beg your pardon. Oh. So, five, we passed um, one in twenty, and at six we passed one in fifty. So, we go on again, and get to the chances of nine in the group is one in twenty-one thousand one hundred and fifty-nine, and this means that uh, Halpern's experiment was highly significant and it uh, pretty much proves that there is some sort of link between uh, Lyme disease and a huge in a hugely increased chance of getting a diagnosis of um, motor neuron disease later in life. Um, so I'd like those of you who understand math and understand it better than me because it took me maybe a week, one to two weeks to make this um, spreadsheet. And I had to go back over stuff I, I did in um, in college about, oh, it's 30 years ago, I guess. Uh, but uh, someone with uh, knowledge of s uh, statistics can do this pretty quickly. And all you got to do is either confirm it or say, I am flat out wrong and uh, tell me, um, the reasons and one way or the other you will greatly help uh, people with uh, Lyme disease and also with uh, motor neuron disease diagnosis and uh, also you're helping science uh, uh, scientists you know to keep it clean 
um, if you don't know um, what to um, do here you probably know someone who who can do this mathematics anyway i leave it with you thank you very much um, have a good day